Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can view and browse for files and folders in the Files app on the iPhone 14 series. First, let's go back to the home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. On the home screen or in the app library, open up the Files app. In the Files app, if you tap on the Browse button at the bottom, it will go back to the root directory allowing you to browse for files. Now in the location section, you can collapse or expand it. Once it is expanded, it will show you all the different storage um, location. At the moment here, it always going to have on my iPhone, which is your local storage, your device right here. Files are stored in your local uh, storage device memory. You can also uh, view files from the iCloud drive, which is on the cloud from the internet. Uh, I've got Google Drive, so once you have download and connect to Google Drive, it will show you Google Drive. In here you can also view documents, images, and videos. And here I also got iExpand Drive, which is a connected USB drive on the device here. So anything that you connected to will be shown in the locations here. And down here are favorites, so in the browse uh, screen it will, will also show uh, file, uh, files uh, that you have our uh, favorites and tags, any tags that you have tags to the file and folders will also be shown here. All right, so if we go into my iPhone, in here it will show uh, files and folders. To view information of, about a file, you can touch and hold on that file and then tap on get info. In here you can get information about a file. So PDF will have different meta tag if you got an image, it will have a different meta tag. So here, if I tap on get info, uh, in here will give you different information, the kind of the file it is. So here it will show, this is a QuickTime movie, the size of the file, where it was created and last modified, and where it was taken, a dimension of the video or the pictures, and the duration if it is a video. You can also add tags to help you easily locate. Uh, files or you can uh, later on group by tags. Now at the top here, if we go back, uh, at the top here is the menu option. In here, it allows you to create new folder. Uh, you can connect to another uh, to a server, to a file server, such as a Windows a computer or a share folders on Windows computer. Um, you can also sort files by name, by kind, by date, or by size. And you can also group them as well. So if you tap on view options, you can also group files by name. So you can also group them by kind. So if it's PDF, it will group into one uh, section. If it is a zip file, it will group into one section. And folders, it will group into folders. So you can group them by kind. Um, you can also select none to turn off grouping. And down here, so you can also, sorry, so you can also select files um, if you want to manage files, uh, such as deleting them, uh, deleting multiple files or folders, you can select multiple items and then tap on done. And another thing is you can also list uh, files on your device to show them as icons or lists. Lists will allow the, uh, each items to be displayed in a list format like this. Uh, you can display them in icons. At the top here is a search text box. You can look for files such as PDF files. And here shows you all the uh, files with the PDF format. So here you can uh, search for all the PDF documents. You can type in PDF or you can uh, put in maybe JPEG. So look for the JPEG image. It will show you all the uh, files that is uh, JPEG. So that is the search function. Now to help you easily organize your files, you can add text to your files. So for example, this one here, you can touch and hold on it and then tap on text. And here you can uh, add in text. Compressed, and then tap on done. So I will tag this file as a compressed file and then tap on done. That will allow me to easily uh, find uh, the file compressed files later on by using tags. 
So here if I go back to browse, I can look for all the compressed files by using tags. So that is another way how you can uh, quickly find files by tags, by favorites, or using the search function. So what else can we do in here? Uh, as you can see, we already uh, discussed about icons and lists, how you can sort, how you can group by using the view options. Another uh, option in here is to show all extensions or high files extension. You can see if I deselect show all extensions, then, so let me see if I have selected or not. So, okay, so I have turned that off. And you can see here, scan documents, it does not show the extension. And if I tap on view options and then show all extensions, it will show the PDF extension files right there. And that's it. So that is how you can view and browse for files. Now, if you are trying to look for photos and videos in the files app, you will not be able to find it in the files app. Uh, when you are using your camera to take videos and file, um, and pictures, it will be stored in the Photos app right here. So if you want to be able to um, look for files, um, look for pictures and videos in the Files app, you need to actually copy or move them to files. So say if I'm going to select a few photos here, and then I'm going to share or move it or copy it. I'm going to copy it to files. So tap on that. And then I'm going to choose, uh, say I'm going to copy it to the archive folder and then tap on saved. All right, now if I go into files and then go into my iPhone and I'm going to look for the archive folder. So hopefully it's in here. So in archive folders, you can see now it has some photos and pictures that I have uh, saved to this folder. So by default, when you are using your camera to take photos and videos, it will not be saved to files. You will not find anything in here unless you have a copy a them to the files um, uh, to the files app. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.